Hey, what's up everybody? This is Parlay Doc representing OddsGM.com and today I'm going to answer a very commonly asked question that I get quite a bit from newer sports bettors out there who follow me on social media. The question is, why shouldn't I use a credit card to fund my sportsbook account? Okay, so if you're a newer sports better, you just recently opened up your account at DraftKings or FanDuel or PointsBet, um, you'll see right away there's a variety of different ways that you can deposit money to start gambling. You can link your bank account, you can use PayPal, uh, you can use a credit card. Now some of the offshore sports books will allow you to even deposit with cryptocurrency like uh, Bitcoin. Okay. Today we're going to focus on credit cards and I'm going to tell you why personally I don't think it's a good idea to use credit cards to deposit money to fund your account. Okay. Reason number one, I know this sounds so basic, but gambling, sports gambling is meant to be for fun, for entertainment. So you should not be gambling with money that you can't afford to lose, okay? I know that sounds so basic, but I can't tell you how many hundreds of messages I get, okay, per week, per month that say, hey, Parlay Doc, I need a lock. I need a bet that can't lose. Um, I got to pay some utility bills. I'm behind on credit card bills. I need to pay this. I need to pay that. I'm in a huge hole. Help me win. If you are one of those people, you have a problem. You have an issue. You need to stop gambling. You need to go get some help. Okay. Now with that out of the way, look, the other main concept is when you're using a credit card, it could be a very slippery slope. Okay, gambling should be for fun. Allocate some money on the side and say, this is my budget for entertainment and I'm gonna stick with it, all right? If you can't do that, then probably this is not a good hobby, all right? Because if you have a credit card, you can basically just keep tapping into it and go deeper into debt to then chase losses. And you don't want that temptation there in my opinion. Okay, if you're like most Americans, you're already in credit card debt. Okay, statistics are broad, but statistics say that you know the typical average American right now is probably anywhere from five thousand to twelve thousand dollars in credit card debt. Okay, so you're probably the average American, just like me. I have credit card debt. Do you want to dig yourself a deeper hole? Probably not. Okay, so just to avoid temptation, I would not go down that slippery slope of using a credit card set aside some money, use other methods to deposit. Reason number two, cash advance fees. Okay, what am I talking about? So now some of the sports books will warn you, others have it in fine print, and do you really read the fine print? Because when you deposit with a credit card, it's, di it's different than when you deposit with PayPal or your direct deposit through your bank, because most credit card companies aren't viewing this as a credit card charge, like you use your credit card at the store at Walmart or Target. It's being seen as a cash advance. Okay, so you need to understand the terms and conditions of your credit card company. Do they have cash advance fees, like a flat fee? Okay, do they charge you a percentage of what you deposit at the cash advance fee or as a flat fee? Because look, I've had people say, "What? Well, it's weird, Parlay Doc, I deposited $200, but on the back end, my credit card company said I owed them $250 because there was a $50 cash advance fee. So they, you're getting killed on cash advance fees, and there could be high interest rates on the amount that you deposited as well. So keep that in mind. That's another hidden reason why you may not want to use a credit card to deposit money. Okay. Number three. Okay, here's a third reason. Look. Now, I know some of you aren't using kind of the American sports books, okay, like FanDuel, DraftKings, etc. You're using offshore books, and there's no problem with that. I use offshore books as well, so Bovada, BetUS, uh, MyBookie, etc. And look, they allow credit card deposits as well. And now look, here's, here's the weird thing though. Some of these companies, okay, they're not doing cash advances, okay? And if you look at your credit card bill, um, they are charging it as if it's some kind of purchase through some kind of vendor or business. So they're kind of billing it as a credit card charge, okay? Um, rather than billing it as a cash advance for the most part. Uh, but here's the problem, 
Okay, that's a gray and murky area, first of all, um, from a legal aspect. But beyond that, most of these offshore books, they want your driver's license info. You know, they want a picture of your credit card, the front and back with your signature line and everything. Um, and again, these are overseas offshore books. So I don't know. What do you think they're doing with all this personal info, info, information that they got from you, okay? Now, I'm not saying that um, you, sh you can't use these overseas sports books or they're all shady or unsavory, but trust me, you will hear stories from people uh, who've used this method, okay, um, who have some horror stories about uh, suddenly, a few months later, having random credit card charges, um, purchases that were made on their credit card, identity theft, etc. And then who are you going to turn to for recourse, okay? Are you going to go to the government? You're going to complain to some, some authority and say, hey, I did some kind of gray area offshore gambling and I need you to help me get my money back from some offshore group who has inter different international laws. Good luck. Versus there's some kind of credit card dispute uh, through DraftKings or FanDuel or PointsBet that are US-based businesses and you're dealing with your US-based credit cards who know that these are legitimate cash advances, much better chance that you would be able to resolve a dispute, okay? So for those reasons, if you're gonna use an offshore book, my personal recommendation is you use cryptocurrency, which is a lot easier um, you know, to make deposits, you're not giving your personal identity, etc. So that would be my recommendation if you're gonna use these offshore books. So that's just a quick and dirty of why I think using credit cards is a bad idea. To sum it up, number one, there's too much temptation to chase losses and there's a slippery slope to then use money that you're basically borrowing, potentially with high limits, to dig yourself in deeper debt. Number two, hidden cash advance fees that you maybe were not aware of. And number three, if you're using credit cards in these offshore books, you have to be worried about your personal data information and the possibilities for fraud and identity theft as well so gamble responsibly okay set aside money that's your discretionary income that you can afford to lose that you're not going to lose sleep over and stress about if you lose it okay um, and have fun okay this is meant to be a fun hobby not something that should ruin your life or cause you stress so be responsible good luck on all your wagers parlay doc representing ozgm.com have a good one, everybody.